What's up, Pyros? Today we got the Deadly Dozen. This is a 200 gram cake assortment from Brothers Pyrotechnics. You have 12 200 gram cakes inside. You got a total of 343 shots between all of them. Let's open this up here and take a look. Now, this assortment includes a bunch of classic cakes from Brothers that everybody knows and loves. Let's see what we got. Alright, we're going to go through these pretty quick, just going to give you the shot count and a quick view of the cake, and in a later video I'll do a breakdown of each one of these a little more in depth, uh, so you can look forward to those or just watch the overall video of all these together, it's up to you. So let's go ahead and start with the red, white, and blue salute, this is a 24 shot cake. And this one will have angled effects. Personally, I've never tried this one. It's got a nice amount of weight to it. 24 shots. Looks like uh, probably got those 3 8 inch bores in there. Next up, we got Bling Bling. This is one of those staples of Brothers that everybody is pretty consistently considers to be a great 200 gram cake. A lot of value and a nice assortment of effects. You get a lot of fast small shots followed by eight large shots that are almost one inch boards. I think those are seven eighths. So you can't go wrong with Bling Bling. It is a very good cake. Moving on. Let's see what we got here. Evil Enemy. This is 36 shot cake. It looks like this is actually a pretty similar layout to bling bling so hopefully it's kind of just a similar cake with a little bit different effects and has those nice big breaks at the end moving on we have magic carpet it's a 25 shot just straight up shots so another one of those ones i have not tried yet i'll be honest i think most of these i have actually never shot Moving on, we have another 25 shotter. This is Wild West. Once again, all vertical shots. And this one is about the same size and weight as Magic Carpet, so you can just expect different effects. And I want to say most of these cakes have different effects, but it is Brothers, so you can expect Crackle to be somewhere in a lot of these. Because everybody knows if you're getting anything with Brothers, you're getting plenty of Crackle. Next we have Wild Card. Let's see here. This is a 49 shot cake. It's a pretty high count for a 200 gram cake, so you're going to expect pretty small shots. You can see those are pretty tiny, so it's going to be a bunch of really small shots. And that's probably something similar to a nice, uh, like a larger Roman candle with breaks, kind of those size. But we will find out. Moving on, here's one I have actually shot before. Super Stallion. It's a 16 shot cake, it's a little one, but this thing packs a good punch for the size and you really can't go wrong with it. Next we got Magic, or Match Magic, it's a 25 shot cake and you got pretty small boards on this and I'll be honest, this cake does not weigh much at all, So, but weight is not always a perfect indicator of how good a cake is going to be. But it is pretty light, so I'm not expecting big breaks on it, but maybe it has a nice cool effect. Let's see, just see what uh, they're saying it has. So, it's rows of crackling tails, blue silver glitter, crackling comets, and a three shot blast of brocade. So, it looks like just a lot of crackle comets and tails. So, it's probably a loud cake, that's for sure. Next up. We have Bazaar. It's a 12-shot cake. And you can see they got these shots spread out pretty well on this cake. Not shot this one myself either. This one also is pretty lightweight. So we'll see how this turns out. And it looks like we got a lot more... It's more of a comet cake. So comets and tails tend to weigh a lot less than actual breaks. 
so that's probably why those two are a little bit lighter weight. On to Magic, Jesus, Magic Festival or Magnificent Festival rather. This is a 25 shot, and this thing, if those are light, this thing is super heavy. I mean, this thing feels literally like a brick. So probably expect some decent breaks on this because even if they had huge clay plugs, it still probably has some decent breaks. And it looks like we have a lot of. Wow, a quick and finale of 10 shots. So there's a 10-shot finale on this one. That's pretty cool for a 200-gram cake. Moving on to our last couple, and we can see these both have arrows pointing for angled effects. And they are pretty heavy. So we got silver screen. It's 35 shots. And as you can see here, we got our arrow. So we're going to have, looks like, vertical rows and then fan rows after that. And last, we got... Mobile Menace. This is a nice 35 shot cake. Looks like it's probably going to be a similar shot pattern to Silver Screen, just different effects. So, once again, it's 35 shots, alternating between vertical and angled effects. So, let me go ahead and put these back in here. But, anyways, I'm going to take these things out of the field and let you guys see how all of them look. And uh, just let me know what you think, which ones you like the most. You can rank them all or just say what your top three are maybe. And uh, I'll see you out there.